This time at Eugene Comic Con, Damon Clark shows up to wow his audience. He is known for Borderlands as Handsome Jack and Cell from Dragon Ball Z. Let's tune right in. Baywatch, I was on that for five years. No one? No, just made that You were the slow motion specialist yeah. on that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the guy that always had his shirt on. Awesome, man. <laughs> thank you for that, thank you. Did you see the movie? Yeah, I did. That wasn't bad. It was, it was funny. It's good. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, okay, so I just have a question or two that I want to open with. And, um, I'm trying to get comfortable. It's like weird. I said, you guys, think of your questions, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let him talk a little bit and stuff. My, my first question is, um, you know, I'm more of a TV guy, you know, uh, than a video game guy. I just don't have times for it. But, you know, I know. Yeah, I know they suck done. in, and next thing you know, it's like next week. Oh my God, I know, yeah. it's ridiculous. It's crazy. So I'm enthralled by the fact that you are, you know, you are the caliber to be up there working along these legends, Kiefer Sutherland and Nathan Fillion and Wentworth Miller, like all these guys, all these guys you're working with. And, and I guess my, what I want to know is, uh, you know, A, how, how is that? Like how... When, when you get the call and be like, okay, you're going you're gonna to work alongside Kiefer Sutherland in 24, are you just like, holy shit? Yeah. You know, or are you like, no, I worked hard for this and, and I'm going to nail this? Like, you know, I, I started acting as a kid, mm -hmm. so you don't really get tripped up too, too much about working with people. Uh, but there are certain people that I, like if I did a movie with Daniel Day-Lewis, forget it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no part of my brain that, that wouldn't be going, you don't belong here. Like, they, that guy freaks me out. Um, uh, or somebody like Heath Ledger, God rest his soul, uh, you know, somebody, somebody like that, or Emma Thompson. There are certain people that I just revere so much that I, I bet if I was in a scene with them, I think it would take me a while to, like, get over that and go, oh, my God, I'm in a scene with you. Hold it. Yeah, isn't uh, it cool? Kiefer, Kiefer though, I, I knew uh, his family from, from Toronto. I, I worked on a TV series with his mom for a couple of years, and, and I know his sister who's his twin, looks exactly like him. Super Scary. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, they, yeah, it's, it's wild. Um, and so then I got a chance to work with him, and so we kind of had that going in, and he was just a really, really, really super, super cool dude, man. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, I love hearing that. And how, how do you get, how do you get, no, like, do you, you do all this TV, you've been acting since you were young, and you, you do this first, and, and how do you get a call about, like, hey, you have a sexy voice. I love your voice. Can you come be this? That never Can happened. you come be this legendary? Nobody calls you up and says that. <laughs> well, and if I, I they mean, do, hang up immediately. <laughs> don't, don't you guys want to know? I mean, how do you get the call to be Handsome Jack? How do you get to be on video games? How do you get to be on these epic, I mean, masterful cartoons and, and anime and all this stuff? Like, that's pretty crazy, dude. Uh, well, th thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, the Handsome Jack thing happened because I was doing Dragon Ball. Kai and the, the Gearbox guys were like sharing studio space or something like that. And they're like, you're a total dick. You want to <laughs> read this? <laughs> and the rest is history. Uh, but uh, it's funny you mentioned Nathan Fillion because they're like, we, we, we're kind of looking for a Nathan Fillion type. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I had to be Nathan Fillion. <laughs> kind of like a, I think it was uh, Charming, yeah, Charming Asshole. That's really what it was. Oh, Are there children here? <laughs> You're not a child. You're okay with cussing. I'm talking right? like six or seven. What are you, like nine? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great, man. I mean, uh, you know, you know what was wild was working on, um, uh, uh, I think technically still working on it, uh, How to Get Away with Murder. Um, that's an intense show because yeah. <clears throat> the cast is uh, insane. I mean, it, it's... <laughs> That's a, little, that's a little intimidating. You heard it here first. The, ins the cast is insane. In a good way. I yeah. Know. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to tweet that right they're, there. Uh, they're just, yeah, it's such an ep epically talented pool of actors. It's hard not to get a little bit freaked up by that. And, at least initially, and then you kind of you know, kind of get over it. Absolutely. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I mean, how cool is it? Like, like I was telling you guys before, I get to sit here and, and get to know these actors and these legendary guys like this, and, and to hear that, they're fanboys too, you know what I mean? Like, like we're here because we're fanboys of, of, of Dragon Ball or Borderlands or stuff like that, you know what I mean? But they're, they're the same exact way. They get on set and they're like, holy crap. You know, that's you a lot of fans. these guys. And you have a lot of fans. Yeah, yeah, I remember people saw a show. 
No, but <laughs> same, same. Two people. Yeah, yeah I got two. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, isn't that cool? Like, you know, when you finally hear from these guys, that the, they're fanboys too, just kind of in different ways, you know. But we all have our fandoms, and um, I think that's really, I think that's really unique, you know. Yeah, working. Uh, Michael Caine was another one. Oh yeah. Right, Michael Caine and Robert Duvall. That was it. Like kind of an oh shit moment. Um, but yeah, you're sitting there. I'm, I'm in a scene with Michael Caine. You want to hear my Michael Caine impression? Do your Michael Caine impression. Hello, I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> that was flawless, dude. Now, this is my Michael Caine impression. My name is Michael Caine. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah. spot on. You it is. Close your eyes. That's pretty good. Close your eyes. Okay, do it. Okay, now, I want you to close your eyes. What? What? Now. <laughs> That's okay, it. No. Oh, okay. okay, now. <laughs> okay, now, open your eyes. Okay, now, close them again. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good boy. Shh. <laughs> it's almost like you're a professional guy at doing voices or something, man. Thank you. <laughs> you want to hear my Deep Roy? Yes. Hello, I'm Deep Roy. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is my uh, Deep Roy impression. That's perfect. Get some, Peter. That is fantastic. Pretty good, right? Sounds a little bit like Patrick Warburton, but not really. That's, that's good. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's open some questions up here. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, open some uh, questions for this guy right here. Let's get uh, not you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was kind of like a Larry David. I just did. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Where's Bernie Sanders? Okay. Okay, go. I was just teasing. Lots of drugs. <laughs> acid, mostly. <laughs> Who does acid? I don't think anyone does acid right? anymore. What did you do last night? I did a ton of acid. No, you just look what? like a loser if you do that. Yeah, you did acid. Where did you even get it? Where did you get the acid? Um, <laughs> uh, it was weird because I, I, uh, I hadn't seen the character at all, like the no illustration of it, which I'm, I'm happy for because he looked kind of like the, the concept art they had for him was really uh, regal, like he was... You know, so I don't know, like, maybe if I would have done, like, some kind of, hello, I'm Handsome Jack. <laughs> that would have sucked. So I didn't have any visual reference, so it's just my voice, which is awesome, because it's, you don't have to, yeah. you don't have to screw around with it. Um, sometimes you do voices, and it's really hard to, like, first version sell. Well, that, that brings up a question. But it was a lot of fun. I mean, so I was reading the script going, oh, God, this can't be real. I mean, uh, scooping out eyeballs and whatnot. And it's some crazy shit in the game. And then I played the game. I'm like, oh, my God, it made it in the game. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is a sick and twisted video game. Okay, so that brings up a question to me is, is what's, what's the primary difference for you? I mean, how odd is it? working aside from stand-ins and real actors when you're on an episode, like a TV episode, compared to when you're by yourself, not having that, the people to bounce off of and the energy to, to feed you, you know? What's right. the difference between uh, voice acting and... Well, it depends, and, because you can be doing a cartoon where you are all in the room, mm -hmm. and you do kind of work together and bounce off each other. But, as my lovely assistant over here, she's like, I call you my lovely assistant? I love it, yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Um, no, you're right. You're, 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 you're video games and, and anime, uh, you're by yourself in a booth. So really what just goes through my mind is, you know, especially with a character like Handsome Jack, is just, and how do I make it funny? And, and you have more time to think about what you're doing, but it's not, you don't have that luxury of feeding off of somebody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's odd too, though, because a lot of the game work we do is just, you know, one line here, one line there, like any of the fighting games like Marvel versus Capcom and stuff. There's no real character development for any of that stuff. Yeah, true. Is this thing cutting in and out? Here, take one. Beat me with it. It feels like it was kind of cutting in and out. It smells like pumpkin <laughs> you, spice you, meal. Hey, how did you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you might have bought me one last night. Maybe. <laughs> No, that that's got to be. I mean, I coming from uh, doing TV myself. I, I hey, put your know. phone down. Be in the moment. Yeah, come on. Be present. <laughs> I will not put up with that kind of horse pucky. He'll he'll call you out. He'll horse you pucky. Out. What do you want, acid? <laughs> no, remember that's not cool anymore. 
Nah, people, no, people don't do acid anymore, man. <laughs> No, but I, I couldn't. Even, I couldn't even imagine, dude. Like, uh, you know, I use my cast to to be who I am. You know, it's reality TV, so it's not even real TV. You know, but that's still got what, scripted, though, right? No, ours wasn't. No, no, no. We were just a bunch of You're like, okay, you guys get in a fight now. No, you know, actually, at first my my showrunner was there, and they're like, okay, you guys all talk about this topic because you're a bunch of geeks, and we're like, okay. So we talked what they wanted to for like ten seconds, and then we went off into like time travel. You know. Warp signatures. The good stuff. All the good stuff. And, yeah. and she, the, the three cameramen literally put their cameras down, and the showrunner comes over, and she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. From now on, just talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Right on, yeah. Because it's awesome. Yeah, like, okay, cool. But that, that's what I mean. You know, I have my cast to bounce off of, and I couldn't even imagine having any kind of, of energy or, or anything at all when you're by yourself and, and, and not, like, what? Do you get to watch the episode or anything? No, well? man, we don't see anything until we get there. That's kind of what makes it tricky a little bit because you, you you don't get a script in the past. Like you know, if you work on a TV show, you get a script like yeah. a week or two, yeah. but you just you literally just get it and you're like, what the fuck? There's no. There there was like a moment in like uh, pre sequel where uh, I was floating. And they describe it to you like, okay, so you're floating in like an echo chamber and. There's a bunch of robots shooting at you, and they're describing this. You know, like, what do you pull from for that? You know, like, what do you, yeah. what sense memory Uta Hagen shit do you pull out for that? Well, that one time I was fighting robots, <laughs> I just got to remember that. And I'll yeah, be yeah, yeah. Let me get in it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, who's got another question? Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. Did you all hear that question? 90% of the game. <laughs> well, the question was, were there moments in Borderlands lines that I delivered that I felt, yeah, this is not cool. Uh, it's a bit uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, there was that Helena Pierce stuff where it was so brutal. <laughs> Handsome Jack. <laughs> Throws acid on this. This is crazy. Throws acid on this woman's face and then just ridicules her for being ugly. <laughs> like, oh my god, what happened to your face? Did you headbutt a sander? A belt sander? What the fuck? So yeah, a little uncomfortable. Gotta love them though. And then there's a the grandmother stuff or the guy that got the player to kill my grandmother. And you read that stuff, and you're like, there's no way this is going to go in the game. That's stupid. Yeah. People, people really respond to it. People though. love it, man. People are sick. People yeah, true. are myself included. <laughs> That's why you're perfect for it. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Over there in the hat, buddy. All right. Uh, what do you think a conversation between Handsome Jack and Cell would be like? I'm awesome. No, I'm awesome. I hate you. I hate you. Bye, Hyperion. You tell me what to do. It sounded weird. That didn't even sound like so. It sounded like a Ron Burgundy had a stroke. <laughs> hey, get away from me, handsome Jack. <clears throat> I hope that lived up to your expectations. I know it did for me. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. What's up? Uh, just a quick question. Uh, <laughs> What do you think about Team Four Star? Do you like Team Four Star? Shut up! I love Team Four Star, actually. Uh, they are uh, very funny. I met them in Connecticut. And the guy that does my voice comes up and he's like, oh, I do your voice in the bridge. I hadn't seen it yet. And I was like, do it. And um, he did it. And I was like, that's the worst fucking cell impression I've ever heard. <laughs> We got along very well. He's a very, very funny dude. Uh, those guys are, yeah, those guys are hysterical. If you haven't watched Team Four Star, just check it out. People watch that more than they do Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there are people that watch that and then they go, oh, there's a Dragon Ball Z. I should check that out. Like, there's an original thing I should look at? Yeah. What is that? Who, who do you admire uh, when it comes to voice actors? Now, we know you're like Gaga over Daniel. Just me. Stuff. Just, just me. me. Okay, cool. Um, would you, who, would you say? Damien what? 
What? Billy West? Is that Billy what? West? I thought you said Daniel Lewis for a second. I was like, well, I said Daniel Day Lewis. Although we know what yeah, actors, that's what it was. You know what actors you like, but what about voice actors? You know, uh, you know, going you, going back to like the Warner Brothers stuff. I mean, yeah, and we all rip that shit off for sure. I mean, all voice actors borrow stuff, right? Even when you listen to Seth MacFarlane, a lot of in, you know inspiration comes from weird weird places. Uh, I mean, Seth MacFarlane. To mention him, I mean, how could you not, right? Oh God, I love him, yeah. Crazy, that guy. And he's so funny. And I, listening to him, actually, with his timing and his delivery really helped me out um, with characters like Handsome Jack. You know, where it just feels he has this ability to... You know, like when, when Peter fucks up his knee and he's like, ah, you know, for like 20 minutes... And that is a science for to drag it out to the point where it goes. It starts off funny and then it's stupid and then it goes on for so long that it becomes funny again. You can't go any further than that. You have to find the right. So his timing, I, I you know, pay attention to what he does and and it helped me out with, with characters like Handsome Jack and stuff. Where you're like, you know, I uh, I can't uh, no. There's something like that where it's just more natural and yeah. So those two guys, Mel Blanc, you know. Who else? Who else is good? Nolan North. I like this because he's a badass dude, and he's very, also very, very talented. I'm, I'm a huge Simpsons fan myself. If you met like Hank oh, they Sharon all suck. And all those guys. They all. <laughs> they're incredible. Yeah, they yeah, they're amazing. So talented. Uh, yeah, Hank Azaria, man, that guy's got the job, the the career, the life that I want. <laughs> There's a documentary. Uh, of, uh, I don't know if anyone's seen like trailers for it or whatever, but it's uh, East Indian comic. That does well. I can't remember his name right now, but he's done a, a documentary on Apu. Oh, really? Fucking Apu. That's it. That character, and about how much he hates the character, and how it has just destroyed his life because growing up, all the, all these jackasses on the playground would call him Apu. And I haven't seen the documentary yet, but it's just about how much he hates that character and how much all these new people. Hey, and of course, Hank Rosario, we just, you know, he was just thrown this character, and it was like, yeah, the clip is, the soundbite is, you know, can you do an East Indian accent, and how offensive can you make it? <laughs> there you Perfect. go. And you gotta love the Simpsons for that. Yeah. Because they don't, yeah. they don't give a shit. They just, they just go for what's funny, and same with Family Guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Thank God for those guys, because we live in such a snowflake, crybaby day and age right now, where I'm like... A, I'm so glad that these, those guys aren't pulling back, you know. Exactly. South Park, too. They just got to respect shit. it. Yeah. Right on. We're, hey. I mean, everyone's just terrified right now, and this is a climate of fear, right? You, you lose your God, career yeah. over the stupidest stuff. Yeah. Twitter. Yeah. You know, yeah. Out, you know, I that. rethink and edit my Twitter Allegations stuff. and, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, it's nuts. I know. Um, okay, so who's next? Who we got? Go right ahead. Yeah, you. You. What world is this that you live in? You that, that would be a thing that would happen. Yeah, which one would you choose? So what, this is like somebody calling me up and saying, you have yeah. a sexy voice, you want to be handsome? Yeah. It's not going to happen. You're asking weird, are you on acid? <laughs> if I had to choose one. No. You have to. She no. put it out there. You have I'm to. Not, no. Uh, it wouldn't be anime. Because because all the animes unless it's unless you're in on the ground floor all the anime stuff we get is done so it's called ADR and you gotta you gotta talk in the mouth movement thing you gotta make it it's all very clinical it's not really organic at all feeling but um, but it's still very rewarding it's just different um, yeah no uh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer your crazy ass question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer in itself. <laughs> Go back there, bud. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pumpkin. What? Well, they're working on it right now.
But it's hard to say what was improv and what, what, because it took so long to do it. There's a lot of recording. But I will say this, that, uh, and what was really cool about working with Anthony Birch um, and uh, Mark Petty, the director, and all that, if it was funnier, if it was an improv line or whatever, and it was better, we went with it. And oftentimes in this business, you'll have the writer in the room and he's like, no, it's not what I wrote. You say it that way and it might be shittier. So there was no real ego with that. So what, what, what I improved, I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, apparently the pretzels thing, the bus telling thing was improved. I, I don't, a lot of it was just, and which is why it, so much of my personality is, is in the character because we, they gave me the freedom to, to do that. And that's not to say that 98% of it wasn't scripted because it was, but. But your, your personality is in the character, and you just said he was the biggest asshole ever. Yep. You're saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> acid. Yes. That was a good one. Okay, who's next? Yeah, thank you. Go ahead. Beanie. I'm sorry about the borderless questions, but do you actually hate Claptrap? Hey, buddy, that's why we're here. Yeah, that's all what good, kind of man. What would I be like, no Borderlands questions <laughs> and no Dragon Ball Z questions? Uh, I'm sorry, what's the question? <laughs> Ah, man, I love Claptrap. How bad did you feel for his birthday party? Sobbing. No, I love Claptrap, man. I think David Eddings did a great job with it. Very funny. What? What are you talking about over there? <laughs> you just got called out. <laughs> Her faces went pink. Oh man! Well, I'm glad you're in here. Are you are you, are you a gamer? Do you game? She doesn't. I do. Just gonna get comfortable here. <laughs> hey, what's up? You can lean on me if you want to. She can give me a head rub. <laughs> do you? Are you a gamer? Do you game? Me? Yes. Not you. Nope. Yeah, you. <laughs> you. You. Do you? Are you a gamer? Well, okay, well, if you do play it, and the reason I'm asking is play it together, because it's apparently, well, it is, it's way better. She's yeah. been planning on dragging me into it for months and hasn't done it yet, so it's all her fault. What friends are for? <laughs> well, you're here learning about it now, so now you can play it. What's, what, what I think is so cool about panels like this is it takes on a whole new meaning. Like, I did I did the, the Boba Fett panel earlier, and talking to Daniel. Oh, what an Daniel, asshole that guy is. Oh, my God, I know, right? Jesus. But, but you go back after talking to He's someone, so and then you rewatch the movie, now that you yeah. know them on a personal level, and it takes on a whole new meaning. Yeah. Same thing now. You go play this video game, you go watch Dragon Ball, you know, you go back and see his old episodes and stuff. And now it's like it's a personal thing because you've you've heard yeah, it's kinda cool. how he got into it. Yeah. You've you've seen him explain it, you've seen his passion involved in it and stuff, and it becomes way more exciting. So I I I'm telling you guys, Hopefully. everything he's been in, go back and replay and rewatch and, and it's it's a whole new show. It's it's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of a fun thing. I, that happens to me at cons, you know? Uh, maybe a project I haven't seen, and I met somebody, and they go, oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. All right, who's next? Who's next, baby? Damien. Any questions? Hey, look, everyone. It's a coffee. <laughs> I'm going to drink it. Put it in my belly. Thank you. I'm so jealous of you at Starbucks right now, dude. Dude, I looked for you. Unbelievable. I did. I looked for you. you want that's, that's the reality TV doesn't get Starbucks. The video games get Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good, dude. All right, who's, uh, come on, there's any more questions. It could be about Borderland, whatever. Hey, go for another one, buddy. Come on, man. Are you involved in Borderlands 3? Uh, I uh, can't say. <laughs> you know how it works, yeah. man. They NDA us like crazy. That's non-disclosure agreement for the layperson. Uh, yeah, they don't let us talk about Jack. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I should just stop now. I'm not going to get better than that. It's good. You're going to go home and be sued. <laughs> go ahead with another question. Does it feel weird seeing cosplays of the characters you've done? Or are like, you super duper excited to see people? I'm super duper excited. Legitimately, I think it's amazing. Yeah. Have you ever thought of cosplaying one of the characters that you've done? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a douchebag move. It would. It would. It would. It would. your own character? <laughs> I think, so, I think there's a line there, and I don't yeah. think... Uh, I do. I think it would be weird. 
I would dress up as another person's character, um, but I don't know what that character would be. Kevin Conway's who? Yeah. Kevin Conway? No, who would it be if you gave cosplay? Yeah, it would be, I would be the Val Kilmer Batman. <laughs> <laughs> How random is that? You forgot he was Batman, didn't you? You all forgot that Val Kilmer was Batman. So is George Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Seagal, remember him as Batman? Yeah, he was Batman too. Yeah, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Go ask a question. Come on. All right, who's next? Ask a question. She wanted to know what your experience was with that. Do you love those two guys because they're so handsome? Jared and Jared and. I don't remember. Jensen, no, okay, yeah, yeah Jared and Jensen. Jensen. Two of the nicest, nicest dudes ever. I know I'm being serious. They are, like, sweethearts. Class acts, man. They're, they're, they're really, really class acts. Um, I had a blast. If any of you, I did a Supernatural episode in season four where I played a, what was called a Rougarou. That was you? Rougarou! Oh, damn. Rougarou! <laughs> yeah, it was with the, the director at the time. It was like, bring it to He's like the, like the least scary monster name ever. It's like, bring in Susan the monster. <laughs> uh, it was really, really cool. I got to wear tons of makeup. Yeah. And who doesn't love that? Uh, and uh, they flew me up the side of a building on some cables. And it was an uh, interesting character to play. And I met some really great people. And it was just an amazing experience. Thank you for that question. That doesn't... And those guys, I don't know what it is. Like, sometimes you can just tell on, on watching shows that you're like, I bet you these guys in, in real life, they just, you can't fake that kind of niceness, that kind of coolness. Right. You know? like, yeah. There, there's something about, sometimes you can just tell when someone's acting, and then sometimes you're like, that they genuinely, I know, when I meet these guys, I know they're going to be that cool and friendly and nice, and, and I've met them too, and they are super cool. Super, super cool. And conversely, there's always that actor too, or actress, where you're like, I bet they're such an asshole. <laughs> And they always are. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Like Tom Hanks. No, I'm kidding. He's the nicest guy ever. Who's, the, who's nicer than Tom Hanks? Maybe Nathan Fillion, actually. He's Nathan one of the Fillion's nicest super nice. dudes ever. Um, so what else? What are stupid questions you want to ask me? Not you guys. You guys are asking great questions, but your questions are awful. I suck. I don't even know why I'm up here. <laughs> Let me see some hands. Oh, yeah. You've already asked a question, but I'll, I'll circle back to you. Yes. What was the experience like working on Castle and working with uh, what, um, with Nathan Fillion? Yeah, with Nathan Fillion. What was that like? Yeah, so he's super cool, and we we, we share a, a, a mutual friend, Jewel State, um, uh, who worked with him for a long period of time on uh, Firefly. Um, actually, not that long. Yeah, she's so awesome. She's cool, cool chick. God. So we had a blast. I think it was like four episodes, uh, 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 and it was it was a dream come true. It was an absolute blast. And Stana could not be a nicer person. Um, yeah, it was a really really great experience. You know what? I've been pretty lucky. I haven't had a lot of bad experiences on sets. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway, right? <laughs> so it's an empty. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to be able to come up here and dish, but you can't, yeah, right. right? No, I'm not a gossip. There are. Uh, a lot of stories, though. So many stories. That's a good one. <laughs> Who's next? Who just showed up, like, in the last 10, 15 minutes? Show of hands. Yeah, you guys have any idea what this panel is? <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, good. <laughs> well, this is... got a Dragon Ball jacket on beard over there. I yeah, I met that. Yeah, that's I met that dude. Beard. What's your name again? Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Kevin, you got any questions for him, man? Not a question you probably haven't heard a million times. Uh, you want to know my shoe size, or you want to know what I like to... Yeah, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I think my favorite was the introduction of Cell, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. he was spooky, and apparently I scared a lot of children. And I love scaring children. <laughs> ah! But yeah, that was so ominous, right? The music and, and the voice, and everything. It's draining people's life force. <laughs> oh, I really, really liked it. And then for the the. Third version of Cell was when he took over the uh, the news station. <laughs> People of Earth, yes, hello. 
<laughs> See, the more questions you ask, the more voices you get, and that's pretty damn yeah, cool. Well, so that just that just happens in everyday life for me, <laughs> right. pretty much. Yeah. Good. Um, what are you dressed as? I am. I'm Dale Cooper with my Audrey Finn. I love it. You guys look awesome. That one. You guys look awesome. What's your question? Um, what is the weirdest voice you've done and the hardest on you? Well, the first version itself was pretty, like, when he screams. When he screams, he sounds like Krusty the Clown, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah! Get over here! Not scary at all! <laughs> uh, so screaming with that voice was, was, was pretty brutal. But I did a, a, a character uh, in a show called Case Closed. Has anyone ever heard of that? Detective Conan. Oh, yeah. Play George. And that was... Kind of, you know, you know what I went for? We were talking about borrowing and like inspiration and things like that. I modeled that after uh, uh, the dude from The Big Lebowski. Oh, yeah. Like, careful, man, there's a beverage here, you know, and uh, uh, there's, uh, you know, a lot of uh, ins and outs and what have you, man, you know? And then I did that and I said, that sounds like a 12 year old, 10 year old fat kid. <laughs> but it was. Uh, it was uh, a little taxing on the voice, but it's fun to do that stuff because oftentimes, especially in anime, they, you know, everything's very serious and they just kind of use your own voice, you know? Um, but yeah, I, thank you for your question. Good question. What about you? Um, I'm only asking because you just followed up the cast of Twin Peaks, but like, have you ever been at a convention and they schedule you right after something where you feel like it's really hard and almost impossible? Are you saying I'm shitting the bed right now? <laughs> Were the Twin Peaks people better than me? God told you not to. I, I peeked in on them and they weren't. They sucked. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't tweet that. <laughs> I, uh, well, that's another, that's another fan, fan thing for me too, man. Twin Peaks. Yeah. We were talking about that. And when you see the, walk into a room, you see the cast of Twin Peaks standing around. You're like, they just think coffee and donuts and pie and yeah. all kinds of awesome stuff. Um, but uh, we were saying, well, is it, have I ever followed somebody that was going to like, a panel that was just kind of like, they just killed it? Yeah. And then it's like, and here's Damian Clark, and they're like, we don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know, actually, that's a good question. I don't, uh, prob probably, like, I don't really know who, who goes before me in these things. I tell you who I don't want to follow is like a Vic Mignogna or whatever, because he's got <laughs> so many people in his, yeah. yeah. And he's, he's very good at panels. Excellent question. That's a good one. Who's next? We got just a little bit more time here, like a couple more questions. Oh, seriously? Go ahead, classes. Come on, that just whizzed by. So I did show up in the past 10 or 15 minutes, so I might have missed it. But okay. you have a lot to do with the... Um, and you're drinking. Of course. Fucking A. Right on. I love it. I didn't know you could do that here. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> You're fired, man. How come there's not beer up here? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. I'm not failed. No, no, I'm, 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 I might have missed a lot, but did you have a lot to do with the, uh, the game that's coming out? The new Dragon Ball Z? Uh, I, I think I could talk about that. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? Next month, I believe, or month after, or something like that? Yeah, I don't know if I can talk about that then. Because uh, I wasn't sure if it was out yet or not, to be honest with you. I got my finger on the pulse. Uh, yeah, okay, so just stay tuned on that one. I can't really talk about it. Yeah. We get we get slapped all the time for, yeah, yeah. Do not distribute. It's like Hollywood's favorite form to throw out our non-disclosures. You can't talk about anything. Yeah, I was just I went I had an audition uh, on my way before I got on the plane, and there was it, it's crazy. Like there's NDAs now, and well, there has been for a while, but they're like if you so much as mention this on Twitter, like because actors would be like. I have an audition for this show and blah blah blah. Look at me, hashtag I'm an actor. Fuck off. But they they put a, they yeah, everyone just can't shut up about what they're doing every two seconds. So they NDA the crap out of everything. So really, it sucks for you guys because you know we know stuff and we can't talk about it. You know, yeah, like oh, you're gonna be so excited when you find out. But the game has been around for a long time now. Yeah. Not a zilch bagel, donut, nothing. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll catch you at the taps and I'll get you a beer. I like you already. <laughs> you, you start, you put Anyone some beer else? In. <laughs> Excellent. I like you. Oh, are you offering to buy me a beer or you have a question? Uh, 
You gotta buy me a beer now. Sorry, right. that's the way it works. <laughs> What's your question? Great question. Did everyone hear that? Yeah. Superman 2. <laughs> I shit you not. Yeah, so I auditioned for Cell, and I didn't know there was three versions of them. I thought I would just be doing this. <laughs> Presty taking a dump, is that <laughs> <laughs> Sure, if that's where you want to go with it. Why not? Uh, <laughs> So I just thought he was going to be a green snaky dude, and then, nope, that didn't happen. So, and, and then like, oh yeah, no, there's like three versions of him, and then when you get to the third one, there's going to be like a hundred episodes of, of you as that. And I was like, shit, what am I going to do? So, I don't know why I was watching Superman 2, but I was. And uh, Terrence Stamp showed up. Kneel before Zod is kind of, kind of what happened there, and I was like, I think I'll borrow from that. It was perfect, right? Because you didn't let me think about it. Alien coming down, right? Uh, to basically take over Earth from a different planet. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of things just kind of fit. Life's weird like that sometimes. Where the hell are you going, Goku? Wait, you're Goku? You, you dress up as a Saiyan and you don't ask me a question? That's nuts. <laughs> All right, well, I'll catch you on the flip flop, man. I'll see you outside. I don't know why I did that voice. That was weird. <laughs> Happens sometimes. You just start talking like an idiot. Joven. Joven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can start flipping Joven. Because I love you, man. I love that movie. That's such a good movie. I just saw it recently again. Oh, my God, I know. It's so good. That's a rewatch for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Paul Rudd, I can't. Paul so How do you funny. not love Jason Bateman and Paul Rudd? Yeah. Have you guys seen the new Jason Bateman show called Ozark? Oh my God, it's so good. Flawless. So good. I love Kid, it. I'm so bummed. Oh, and here's another tidbit, a tip for you. If you haven't seen Patriot on Amazon, watch it. No one talks about this show, and it is so fucking good. It is, yeah, it's like Coen Brothers quirky. It's so good. It got passed up for awards. It should have won. Anyway, just, you know. This is like a Twitter feed right now, right? Eh? Oh, go on in. Here's a picture of my breakfast. <laughs> Good, I think we have time okay. for more questions. Oh, there, you haven't asked one. one yet back there. You, sir. Uh, yeah, earlier when I met you, um, I noticed, well, kind of stupid, but why were you offering a free autograph for Ernest and you know, I didn't really see anyone else doing that? And then second, when I bought another one off, you said it was vegetarian, and I was wondering what it was. Are you mad at me for something? You ang I can't tell if you're angry. You have his face is like, what's with this free autograph bullshit? <laughs> and other people aren't doing that, and I, uh, I think that's just your face. You're just your resting face. <laughs> it is good. It is good. It is good. I use that excuse for everything. Yeah. Sorry about the hit and run. I'm Canadian. Uh, oh, in that case, off you go. A. Um, I'm a last minute, Booker T couldn't make it, so they got, they got that everyone mistakes Booker T for me. Can't even tell the difference. <laughs> so it's kind of, so this is the first time I've been to this con, and it, I'm so grateful and happy that it was a serendipitous thing that happened. So I'm last minute, which, in case you didn't see my awesome fucking sign I have behind me, it would look like a third grader. Just scribbled it out with crayon real quick. I didn't, I didn't do that, by the way. That's not my art. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Everyone, Marty Club has got the pots of gold, and there's a fucking motorcycle over here, and then I got the third grader arts and crafts. I'm surprised you didn't put, like, glue and glitter and stuff on it. <laughs> Next time I know what to do, man. So, on my last... Last minute kind of thing happens, and I'm <laughs> wildly unprepared for it. And so, if there's no notice, we thought it would be just kind of cool to say, hey, uh, you know, first, first signature, uh, if you bring it, totally cool. Because there's no notice, I usually sell a picture for like 25, but people would go, oh shit, I didn't know you were going to be here, so we just kind of did it that way. And, and I'm Canadian, and I'm so nice. Hey, you guys, just give it up for that. That's pretty <laughs> cool for him, right? <laughs> No, it really isn't. Oh, the charity, by the way, the charity is, uh, is called Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking, CAST. So it goes to rehabilitating victims of trafficking. No, 
I'm just kidding. There is the cherry. I put that right in my pocket. No, it's true. That is that is that is that is the charity, and which is I got the yeah, I got the idea to do that from from this lovely uh, uh, woman actor uh, Gray Griffin Gray Delisle, um, and uh, so yeah, that's part of why I do this, so I can you know yeah. work with that charity. So I appreciate it for everyone that came by. It's amazing. Not a lot of actors do that, and you know I mean you guys you got to understand that this is how he makes a living. You know what I mean? It's when, when he gets autographed pictures, people are like, oh, I gotta pay 25, 30 bucks for, no, this puts food on his table and and <laughs> buys his wife shoes. And that you know, cocaine but, ain't gonna buy itself, the acid, man. The acid gets expensive, man. <laughs> <laughs> My bookie really, really appreciates it. <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, we, we yeah, it is it is how we make uh, our, our living, but it's, for, for the most part, I think, we do this so for moments like this, and that sound, may sound corny, but this is my favorite part of this job, easily, hands down. Um, and there's, you know, there's lots of people that can't afford stuff, and we just think, you know, off you go. But what, what, it, is, it is nice to at least be able to, um, you know, whatever your, whatever your kick is, you know, Habitat for Humanity or whatever. Um, what's that, Children's Hospital? St. Jude's, that's a good one. That's a good one. You never know what charities, right? Red Cross. That was a bummer when I found out there's a whole NPR story about those guys fucking ripping off everybody. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. It's a bummer. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah. So again, thank you for everybody that came by and and is coming by and hasn't seen me yet. Because you know why yeah. would you want to, right? Come see me, Booker T. Washington, at my table. And yeah, that so, he's very so large. He's huge. He's, he's really, God. really large. Yeah, he's scary. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure you come to Eugene, Oregon next year for UConn, and I hope to see you there. <laughs>